Hey everybody, this is uh, Blandine, just to serve. You can see I have it got lost. I just went missing for a little bit. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you how beautiful it was in Stewart's Draft, Virginia. This is our first snow. <clears throat> and I do have a little story to tell you about myself. You guys know that you know, a lot of us on here have fibromyalgia and a lot of different things. So anyway, so I'm just going to turn the thing around and just kind of tell you. Because I want to show you how pretty it is, especially the Blue Ridge Mountains. If you can see them, but I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope it, I hope it don't cut me off. But anyway, hey everybody. I'm going to have a sale soon, maybe, to, I don't know, one day, maybe one day this week. <clears throat> i got a lot of good jewelry, too. But I really, really, really just want to talk to you guys. I really miss you. I just haven't had the energy. The uh, I've really focused myself on having Christmas for my family this year, and I'll tell you why. But I'll turn it around because I don't want to cry. Okay, let me turn it around. Okay. Um, for the past two to three years, I haven't had a Christmas for my family. I haven't been able to because I've been in bed or else I have been hoarded. I don't know. I think with fibromyalgia and different things, it, it kind of makes you, you know, bring in stuff and then you don't know what to do with it and and I had been bringing in stuff, you know, trying to sell it. And and next thing you know, my house was like a hoarder. <clears throat> and I didn't know what to do with it. I couldn't get rid of it. I was a wreck. But I stayed in bed. I couldn't get up. My kids, my grandkids, when I, when I left the plant and got off a disability, I just, I couldn't get anything done. So Christmas, it was like all I could do to get Christmas dinner made. It was all I could do to get, it was all I could do to get through Christmas. I think the one year, the first year, my granddaughter had packed my living room up and I put up this little Charlie Brown tree and I think it about to kill them, it really did. They didn't know what to do. And if you look up here, way up here, and if you look at them green things up there, that's mistletoe. We have mistletoe growing in our trees. And mistletoe comes from birds. Birds, somehow or another, they transport it. And, but we have lots and lots of mistletoes. And uh, my husband, he could shoot it out. But we have live mistletoe. So that was the first year. The second year, I did a little bit better. I did did a little bit better. I got a, a bigger tree. And then last year, <clears throat> I did better. I actually got a tree and decorated it and, and did, you know, my best. And, uh, but this year, this year I wanted to have the best Christmas ever because to me, I had disappointed my, my, my family, not necessarily my family, but my grandkids. And, and I don't know if y'all know, but my family, we have a double wide. We bought in 1987. And, and I think in 2002, my youngest son got married. But in the process, we were planning on building on to our double wide. So we, bought, we built on to our double wide. And we built on to... Um, 
we built on a bedroom, a big family room for my, my husband to have his man cave and a bathroom. <clears throat> so that's where Jeff and I put our, that's where we live. So my son and his wife and my two grandchildren, they live in the double wide and we share the kitchen. So that's been going on now since many, many years. And this is it here, this part we live in. And this is the part they live in. So it's, you know, it's okay, you know, we're okay with it. Um, so my grandchildren have lived with me all their lives. And Megan has just now turned 18. She's in her senior year. And she will be going to college. She was accepted at Mary Baldwin, which is a really good college. She wants to be a teacher. So you can see they have been through a lot with me, which they didn't understand because Mama did everything with them. Mama was the great Mama, and then Mama got sick, and I couldn't understand why I was sick. I couldn't explain to them why I couldn't do the things I did. I couldn't do things like I used to. <clears throat> so anyway, thank God this year, if it wasn't for Jesus, I don't know what I would have done. But this is up our road. And you, the, it is so pretty. When it snows here, it's beautiful. The Blue Ridge Mountains, you can't even see them because of the snow. But I hope this downloads. But anyway, <clears throat> that's why I haven't been online. I've just kind of give my time to my family because I've had to, because I've had to slow down, rest, get some of my energy back, <clears throat> because, uh, and I had to get, I had to really, really, really give time to the Lord, to Jesus, because I was like lacking and I don't know, I really had to, I had to, I don't know, I had to get myself straightened out. Because I don't know what was, I don't know, I was just going one way and the other. And But anyway, the main thing was that I needed to really get this year's Christmas a great Christmas. And it was. We had a great Christmas. And the only things left is those two deer. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them in the yard or not, but... Anyway, that's a little walk. Let me see. I think maybe if you look up here, I don't know, maybe you can see those mistletoes up in there. Yep. And that's my truck. I run around in my truck. And you can see we have lots of vehicles. But anyway, they're not ours. They're we can't, I don't drive them all, but we have lots of people. <laughs> but anyway, Selena, I love you. Barbara, Misha, I can't, I can't, I can't say all your names. Uh, I'm just trying to think, and you know fibromyalgia, I just can't think. But you guys know I love you all. And I miss you, um, Patsy Crafty, your daughter, uh, Kay, your mom. Um, I'm just, I can't think of all of you guys, but I do, and I will. I am this week. Sometimes I will go live. So um, y'all be watching for me. I know Friday I am supposed to be on uh, the Glam Squad on uh, Facebook, and that is uh, at 7 o'clock, 
and the rest of the time I will be on YouTube. So I'll be posting that, and y'all have a great day. And I know I didn't call everybody's name. My mind is just kind of blank. But...